Hi, so today we, we will gonna see how to record cues and uh, there will be different parts and this first part uh, will talk about very simple uh, actions uh, working around uh, conventional lighting mostly and uh, we will see the uh, more complex things in uh, further uh, tutorials so as usual we will use the uh, basic uh, show that you can download from uh, the ADB uh, website and just open this file and you will get something very close to what I have here and um, so we will work now with uh, only with conventional lighting which is easy to see on the channel uh, window because that's the ones with no particular display like green and uh, special flags and, uh, and things so uh, we can use this kind of channel so we have already seen in uh, past uh, tutorials how to control channels, create groups and so on. So I, I suggest you, if you are just taking this uh, tutorial from scratch, to first start with the uh, first tutorials. Um, so we are working now with this playback, uh, which is empty, with no sequence in it at all. And uh, let's start to create a queue. So to do it, as usual, you will play with your different uh, mouse and uh, keypad strokes to get a level here. And then you have just to press uh, on your console the record key or if you are working on an uh, offline version on your PC, you press F7 and you get this pop-up window which uh, gives you a lot of information. In this first part about conventional, we will be we will limit to the uh, basic information we need. So, as soon as you just press record, you will get here uh, a number, which is uh, proposed by the system as the free uh, first free number to be used. It's because in my show I have already probably 40. Um, if you want to get uh, directly your preset numbering uh, without any auto numbering, um, I just press escape to get out that and um, let's add. And if I press first, for example, 78 on my console, and then I press the record key, I will get directly this number I would like to use. Okay, then here you can of course enter the name of your queue. So uh, let's call it very basically the first queue. And important thing here about this choice in this uh, scrolling list you have here. You can always choose between stage and field. Stage will reflect all elements which are currently on your stage, which means control from any part of your console. It can be, these channels can be coming through uh, the current playback or from any other playback or from uh, any submasters. So if you choose stage here, you will record the overview, everything you can see on stage. Let's start with this simple example. And you can click here or press record again on your console. And now you can see here in your playback window, let me just remind how to get this window. You go into Hator here, Controllers, and you choose Playback. And then, as we already explained, 
just dockable and you dock it in any subscreen you need. So uh, back to our list here. As you can see, you, we, we, the first column here shows the step number and the number beside is the preset number linked to the step number. So my first step will contain preset 78. So there is no actual cues here in this software. The name used here, as we can confirm in that window, the name is preset and a preset contains only intensities, only intensities. We will see later on how to uh, handle the parameters, attributes and, uh, and so on. So, we get this first step with the current levels on stage here. We can check now if this preset is okay. So either we can look into the presets without changing anything on stage to be sure that this preset is okay. And you can, for example, right click here and go to edit preset. So you can see that we get these channels with a right level here and we get the name, the number and so on. I could edit from here, of course. I could change something, increase the level to 50 and press record. Of course you will say, are you sure, blah, blah, blah and you record update. Okay, if you want to do it from the console, like we already show, there are always the, the two different kinds where you can do it uh, with the shortcuts. So for example, here you could press on your console 78 and then you press the edit key it will open directly the same window with the content but the both ways to do it so now if you want to see if it's working or not uh, as we expect we can just uh, we can just go here from one step to the zero the zero step and from this zero step we just press go so you can press the go button on your console as well and you will see your channel coming up check that the stage uh, option here is checked because if not you will not see the the transition from one state to the other. Let me show again, go back to zero, I uncheck stage here, after I press go, go, and you don't see all the intermediate uh, steps. So think, remember to check this uh, option, that's pretty useful and for different reasons. So we got this uh, first step and of course now if we want to record a second one we just adjust our stage state, stage lighting as we want. So let's say I want my uh, cyclorama now to be controlled and I press uh, 50 at and again I press my uh, record or F7 on my uh, PC keyboard. I give a name to say that my uh, second cue and enter or you press record again. So let's go back now to the uh, step zero where nothing is on stage, of course. 
and you press go. So we get our first step that we first set up. And then we have a transition to the second step. And so on. So um, let's take an example with the first the third queue with some channels going down to blackout or on a lower level. Uh, so we will shoot we'll take these two ones and set to zero and record a new queue that we call the third queue. Okay, so now we go back to the beginning, we press go, go again, we get all the errors coming to 50%, and then now pressing go will make my two channels here fade down to zero. Well, now we have this lighting state, of course we will need to set some times, some fading times. And these fading times can be directly entered here. So let me show you. So as you, in this grid here you can see the in time and the out time. And you have this middle one which reflects the time when is a pure uh, symmetric crossfade where the uh, fade in and fade out are the same. So for example if I want to enter um, let's go to my first queue here. This first queue for example is for the uh, first step to when I get my uh, curtain up. So let's say I want 8 seconds. I just double click in my cell and press 8 enter and I get this time here. So if I go to 0 and I press go, now you will see that here in this progression bar how slow we are to fade to uh, our values and so on. So you can edit all these fields here directly with your keyboard. You can uh, even uh, type different, uh, several uh, times in, uh, in a row. You just select with shift and control as you sh should do in, uh, in Windows. You can I get a multi selection and then you tap the time to say I want four seconds to all those cues and it apply. And the same for the out time. If I had enter these times here in in out column, I would have got a very symmetric uh, crossfade. And now, for example, I press all these cues here and I select, let's say, two seconds. So if I want to see what's going, what is now getting on, okay, so this one is in 4 seconds, the next one will get also in 4 seconds and the out time will not be applied because in our example we have no uh, channels going down. And again go and this time you will see our uh, two channels getting out in two seconds. Okay, so that's uh, okay for today. This is the very basic way to create cues and giving types. Of course, we will have many other uh, tutorials to explain how to use uh, complex timing and loop and wait time and delay and all, all that stuff. So, see you very soon.